Hello, I'm Neil Davidson and I just want to tell you a little bit about my story so far. I grew up around the town of Banbridge. I went to Ballydown Presbyterian Church for all of my childhood. Um, I grew up there with a, a Christian family and I um, always knew about the Lord and, and learned about him through church and through Bible study and Bible classes and Sunday school there. Um, now married to Naomi, I have a daughter, Isla, and we settled back at Ballydown. Um, after searching around a wee bit when we got married, we felt that that's where we were called to be, and um, we, we've now settled there as a family. Um, as I said, I grew up in a Christian family, and always knew about the Lord, but I never really made a commitment to Him until the day my granny. And this, that really made me question where my eternity would be. And that's something that I couldn't answer there and then. And I wasn't certain of it. So I uh, I asked Jesus to come into my life that day. And to give me that certain hope of where I would be in eternity. And to be in heaven with him. Um, and I just remember after that. I, I had a lot of close friends in the church who kept me sort of on the straight and narrow such we were we kept close company right the way up through secondary school and into university and that was something that was a really good support and together it, it was something that uh, we felt that we should really give back to the areas that we had been encouraged the most in our faith in our younger years that being sort of the youth club at, and youth fellowship of our church and um, also those SU camps that we went to and it was something that we felt we could really give back to there and we felt encouraged to do that. So we got involved in helping with the leadership of those and, and as a group we were involved in those for quite a number of years and it was something that was really rewarding. But it was also something that uh, we felt was really encouraging to us and it's somewhere that I feel that I have found some of my favourite verses and um it's a really common favorite verse for a lot of people um jeremiah twenty nine eleven, but i quite like to read on and it was a situation at one of the camps we were at and we've been discussing with some of our bible study groups about sort of feeling lost and feeling like we weren't good enough to come back to god and they were really concerned about this and we were just taking a bit of time everybody individually and I was just reading through this verse and, and read on past and it really struck me as something that was really powerful and so applicable to them and was so surprised I suppose at how God could speak into that situation um, so clearly and I just want to share that with you and you'll, you'll recognize the first verse we'll just read on so for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart and it's just something that at that time I found so powerful that these kids had come to ask the question of are we too bad or can we ever be far enough away from God that we can't be saved and God spoke into that so clearly to say that no you're never too far away and no you're never too bad as long as you can share and seek me or seek God with all of your heart you will find him so if you are really desperate for that and really want to have that relationship with God and you put all your effort and soul into that then of course he will answer you and I would just really encourage people to listen to that verse and to dwell on it. And if it's something that's uh, encouraging for you, then um, really take it into your lives.